Hi there YouTube, this is Puck. As promised, today I want to show you my very special pair laptop. And it's right here in front of me. It's in fact made of um, let me put it up here you can see the beautiful logo of the pair laptop and uh, this uh, pair that you see at the back uh, you will also see in the machine it will come uh, very often in the view because in fact uh, this is kind of yeah pair apple you know the first time when i saw a pair laptop was in some I can't remember it was on TV in some child uh, some thinner program on TV and I saw it passing by and they were all having these laptops maybe you can remember the name of uh, it was on the Dutch TV so my Nederlandse mensen zullen wel weten waar ik het over heb maar dat was het programma waar die uh, uh, die laptops met het peer logootje altijd uh, in voorkwamen uh, and yeah, uh, you know, I also found on the internet uh, the Pear Linux distribution, the distro that got abandoned and even disappeared. And the owner the other day came to me, said, "Yes, uh, I'm the owner now of Pear Linux, and you said you can, you know, but people are not really using it because." Um, yeah, even though it still can get some updates through packages. Yeah, there's something not so good about the system. Uh, so I thought, well, you know, if I'm gonna uh, make a pair system, I, I at least want to run it on a good distribution of Linux. And you know that I'm a great um, um, Mint Linux fan, Linux fan. And I installed 17.2. This is the kind of latest version that I have. And I modified it to make it, uh, yeah, a pair laptop. So, you know, it fits with the name pair. And, uh, yeah, I, I want to invite you to take a look and let's boot her up and see how this thing runs and how it looks. And, yeah, if it's any fun. Okie doe, there we are. Let's uh, first uh, look at the beautiful Peer logo that I created that's special for this video for today. The original uh, must still be made. We're gonna turn on the Toshiba. It's the Toshiba satellite. It's a pretty old one, peeps. Uh, and uh, yeah, here you can see we will be brought to the Apple Peer login screen. And up here we will have to log in because this is an encrypted uh, uh, installation of Linux on this machine. So in fact, yeah, if you don't have a password, you will not get in to the machine. The machine won't even boot. So yeah, so we're booting up. This is a real-time boot that you're looking at. It's uh, pretty fast, but as you know, I am on super computers here. Here we are in the background and you will immediately see... Uh, the icons and how they look you will see a yellow finder there and sorry for the shaky Stevens cam there I'm trying to you know set it up nice there for you guys and yeah what you see there is a yellow finder that's uh, the my computer informant so let's take a look at that um, wait hold on let me first put the cam good um, you can see the little pair uh, logo that I also have there in the corner uh, the pair logo uh, instead of the Apple logo or instead of the Mint Linux logo. Here we get into our computer environment, CD-ROM, the X drive and of course the system files. Uh, also Apple styled. Uh, this is the my home uh, environment. By clicking the big pair there you will get into that. And uh, this is uh, into the start menu. You will see that I removed certain things such as uh, the word packages, the Excel and, and these things. I'm, I'm not the office, you know, I'm not into these things. Uh, what I want is uh, yeah, a nice system with uh, 
with audio and video possibilities here you can see that we can blow up the icons as big as we want so we can pimp the system really nice um, yeah what can I say you know um, I find it's fun to work uh, behind this thing because it's also my television uh, player I have XBMC installed and let's take a look at that and we're gonna start up um, the Dutch TV just to give you an impression of how it works these are all the Dutch stations and you see the streaming is very good it's not slow it's not laggy or buggy it's it's really good so um, yeah what can I show you more uh, of course we have an app store in here and out of the app store you can get all the apps that you need um, really um, maybe you don't know it but Linux you know in fact Ubuntu was the first the first very first worldwide ever from all software companies that had their own app store way back in 2000 I don't know 2005 or 2004 when it was you know I was having these Linux distributions um, being sent up to me from the United States I ordered them you know paid a couple of bucks and I would get you know a complete package with stickers with so nice so um, yeah you guys should also check uh, out uh, Linux Mint cause you can also buy uh, complete sets out there and these are not burned CDs like the ones that we create but these are real good quality real original CDs that will last you know very long um, yeah these are kind of the, 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 the icons uh, of the desktop the yellow finder I found it really nice to make it uh, kind of a different color uh, yeah I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep using the finder it still reminds a little bit too much of Mac maybe we should find a yeah a, a something else something else that you know looks like the finder but it's not the finder that we could you know combine with the pair um, system so yeah peeps um, yeah what can I say oh yeah on top you can see that it's all there uh, finder and uh, file edit view go windows help it's all there on top I still have to change these folders uh, in the home I will make them all colorful just yeah yeah by an idea maybe of of Apple I'm not sure but it will be something like that because in fact the pair is is just Apple but then not Apple you know it was something like uh, we gonna copy you but uh, we're not gonna be you and in this uh, case uh, the operating system is Linux so um, yeah it's not that we changed uh, Apple system around about listening to music um, I can't really play the music for you but I'm gonna show you here that uh, in Banshee, Banshee that is uh, audio player that you will find in your audio section of Linux by opening it uh, you will find uh, all the way down uh, all the podcasts and stations and stuff and music that you know will play for you immediately even though you didn't have no music on your computer uh, you will be uh, listening to music immediately of course you do need a internet connection it's not that the music is stored on the CD that would be not legal for uh, Linux Mint to do although uh, I know there are many artists out there just like myself that would uh, offer music to uh, Linux Mint so Linux Mint can also insert demo songs of us you know uh, the composers and the creators of our own music into the Linux distributions because we are in fact also family of Linux Mint because we yeah we promote the systems we make videos about the systems you know and uh, yeah we encourage others to do that as well so peeps this was it uh, a little bit I hope you liked it uh, the look around so let's go back to the studio well, peeps that was it I hope you liked uh, this video I hope you liked this concept uh, I'm gonna make more of these machines and I'm even gonna make these machines for some of my friends they already ordered me to you know make a pair laptop from one of their old systems they seem to love the pair it's uh, it probably makes them think of Apple but uh, yeah this is even uh, yeah more uh, powerful and cheaper and better it's Linux 
and uh, yeah it's really open to let you do many crazy things so if you think this video was cool of course please like subscribe and see you in my next video again